wife is Elijah Sharifa Tafolabi. Uh, she is an housewife as well as a businesswoman. Uh, she has been taking care of so many things before she had that challenge of this glomus tumor. She was a very, very versatile and very, very active uh, person in terms of business and taking care of the home front. But when she was diagnosed of having that challenge, uh, it, it, it created a lot of setback for her. And um, that was actually what actually informed her decision to find for a place where she can be taken care of. That made us to go to the local hospital. And when we look at the technical in-depth of the medical experience that we need to take out of these exigencies, we had to make consultation with friends who actually at the end of the day referred us to Apollo Hospital Bangalore as the best uh, destination where we can get this issue sorted out. At the hospital, we met Dr. Satish Naya, who was the head of the head and neck um, surgical team. My patient, Afola B, from Nigeria, she's a case of glomus jugular. So the glomus tumors are actually new, new endocrine tumors, actually. They are these tumors which have unspecific areas of the head and skull base. So these tumors are involving the skull base, which is a very critical area. It involves an area which have most of the nerve, the cranial nerve that we talk about, and also the main blood supply to the brain, the internal carotid artery, as well as the internal jugular vein. She had this lesion or this tumor for about last eight years. And when she came to me, she had about eight centimeter, a very large tumor. It had already been pressing onto most of the cranial nerves, leading to a lot of palsies. When we evaluated her with an MRI, we found that this tumor was not just in the skull base, but was extending into the CP angle and directly into the cavernous sinus, intracranially. So it was a very large tumor. Nowadays, when we have smaller tumors, less than three centimeters, we treat them with gamma knife or cyber knife radiation. But in this case, as it was a very large tumor, that was not possible. So we went about doing a surgical excision of this tumor. A lateral skull base approach was taken in which we removed most of the temporal bone and the tumor. The most critical part of this tumor, it's a very vascular tumor and it's involving almost 270 degrees of the internal carotid artery and also involving all the cranial nerves. The surgical process included uh, very a delicate surgery to remove this tumor from all these areas and the patient was almost discharged in 48 hours with almost no post-operative complaints. A small part of the tumor, just about 5 millimeters, was left which could not be accessed which was into the cavernous sinus which was then later tackled with cyber knife. Post-surgery, we were meant to go, we were made to go through radiation uh, exercise under Dr. Beliapa and his team. And at the, end, at the end of the exercise, I must say, we were quite satisfied. The nurses, the personnel, the hospital staff that we had uh, contact with, they were quite magnificent and fantastic. I'm very, very pleased and satisfied that I'm going back to my country and I'm very happy with the treatment we got here. I thank them all for all what they did to us. We are very, very grateful.